Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to a township called Talbot. Talbot is located 158 kilometers or 98 miles northwest of Melbourne. It lies midway between Maryborough and Clunes. Talbot is an historic gold mining town and is a reminder of what a gold mining town was like in the mid 19th century. It has tourist accommodation and venues for a meal, plus a rich collection of interesting historic buildings. A popular farmer's market sees thousands of people descend on the town on the third Sunday of every month. Prior to arrival of Europeans, the district was home to the Jar Jar Wurrung Aboriginal people. Now, Talbot does have a great history, and I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Now, Crown survey of allotments took place in 1861 to 62, and from those sources, a view of the number and type of business ventures can be ascertained. For example, there were 23 restaurants, a variety of hotels and ale stores, tobacconists, four butchers, four boot shops and boot makers, three tent shops, six drapers, and a number of druggists or chemist shops, milliners, saddlers, confectioners, and billiard saloons. In 1864, it had a courthouse, borough offices, seven schools, a street of good shops, two breweries, churches, two soap and candle factories, 16 hotels and coach services. It also had a population of about 3,400 the accuracy of the figure could vary because of the transient nature of the miners. There was also cultivation blocks, dairy farms and a common pasturage which operated with the aid of a pound keeper. Talbot was officially named on the 19th of October 1861 by the then Governor of Victoria, Sir Henry Barclay. The area continued to develop during the 60s and on the 31st of October 1865, the Shire of Tal Talbot was proclaimed. The first European settler in the area was an Alexander McCallum, who established a pastoral property in 1839, which was called Danash Forest. It, it said that a shepherd, Thomas Chapman, discovered gold at Daisy Hill, which is seven kilometers north of Talbot in 1848. And the first rush to the district occurred at Amherst, five kilometers north of Talbot in 1852. The township of Daisy Hill emerged in the 1850s due to its location on the main route from Adelaide to the gold fields around Castle, Maine. Gold was first found at Back Creek in 1854 and a settlement began to emerge on the diggings which was also known as Back Creek. By 1855 there were about 15,000 people on the field at Talbot with five banks, possibly 49 drinking establishments, a brewery and numerous stores and businesses scattered along six streets. This year saw the arrival of Chinese miners in the district. A national school was built in 1858. That same year saw the construction of a reservoir. After the Scandinavian rush of 1859, a survey of Talbot was carried out. At the time, it was known as Back Creek. The same year, the gas works were built. After the visit by the Governor of Victoria in 1861, the name was changed in honour of an English peer named Talbot. By the mid 1860s, the population dropped to 3,000 or 4,000. At that time, there were 16 hotels, a courthouse, a town hall, soap and candle factories, flour mills, a theatre and the gas works. Cohen Brothers, soft drink manufacturers of Bendigo, was founded at Talbot in 1861 also. The post office had opened at Back Creek on the 24th of February 1854 and renamed Talbot in 1862. The Wesleyan and the Presbyterian churches were built in either 1863 or 64 and in 1875 the Amherst was renamed Talbot Borough. The year that Talbot railway station for the Ballarat to Maryborough line was built in the town also. 
By the 1900, mining had declined and the population was down to 1300. This was a brief, uh, there was a brief revival in 1933 to 1940 uh, when one of the gold mines at Karalutlup was reopened. Now, if I've mispronounced some of those towns or people's names, I apologise. It's not my area of expertise. I am definitely no linguist, and I hope um, those that knew how to pronounce it better can uh, forgive me. So, without further ado, let's check out the township of Talbot, and on this occasion, the farmer's market, uh, which is on the third Sunday of each month, was also on.
So here we are nearing the end of this presentation and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, by all means, click on that like button or that thumbs up icon and please subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you one cent and it really helps the channel. Now I have left, uh, left a link in the description to where I sourced all the information from. So if you seek more, just look down in the description area. And most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and have a great day.